name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. In front of the White House a, a few months ago, I had some travels that direction, so I, I had my team take me to the White House. And of course, I, I've been there a number of times just to pray. And this is the first time, though, this has ever happened. I was at the White House, and they have it all, like, fenced off. You could always go right, right down the sidewalk, you know, and pray. It's all fenced off. I mean, really bizarre, as if anybody want, is going to invade, you know what I mean? It's, it's all kind of uh, entertainment. It's all fake. But nevertheless, two things. All the lights in the White House are off at night. It's bizarre. All the lights are off. And when I'm there with my friends to pray, um, there's like a, a spirit of demonic darkness around the White House and in the streets. You can actually feel it. I even had a Protestant man with me and he could feel it like Ugh! an evil spirit coming out of the White House. I'm not kidding you. I've been there quite a few times. I've never felt that at the White House. And so our country is under siege. Amen. And we need special prayers to protect us. God saw everything coming in advance. So he's loaded down the church with many wonderful, precious and priceless gifts. And if we use them, we're going to be completely protected. So no matter what foolish choices others might make, there's no reason why you can't be safe and happy and peaceful and provided for. Amen. So we're going to give you um, at least five special gifts to take home. The one, the first one I think you, you received before Mass started, a little tiny precious blood of Jesus card. Did you happen to receive that, brothers and sisters, before the Holy Mass started? You did? Okay. I'll ask Tammy and Nami to help me with that. So the little blood of Jesus card, I thought we passed them out before Mass. That's it. Okay. That's the, the smallest, really, prayer. It's only one line, the blood of Jesus. Um, no, the blood of Jesus prayer, like this beautiful lady has in her hand. It has the, the crown of thorns on the cover of the little card. It's just a one-line prayer. And we're going to pray it together when we place the Lord on the altar. We'll have a short adoration. We'll pray that prayer together because... It binds and evil spirits, it destroys strongholds. Then you're also receiving a prayer to break any ancestral curses over your family. Like, for instance, alcoholism might be in your family. The prayer we're giving you was a result of a vision of Jesus to a visionary in Africa, and it's as an imprimatur, it's been tested and approved. So we're allowed to pass this out. We're allowed to pray it publicly. It's called the prayer for release from ancestral curses. You're receiving it right now. It's beautiful. It's short and it's easy and it's beautiful. And it's best to say it every day for 144 days. It breaks anything evil that's in your family. One family I'm familiar with in Georgia, they had the spirit of atheism in their family. And when we had them say this prayer, all four of the brothers and sisters who were atheists were converted to the Catholic faith that year. It was a stunning miracle. They had a demon of atheism in the family. There can also be a demon of cancer in the family. They can everybody have cancer. There could be a demon of anger in the family. Everyone's always yelling at one another. There could be a demon of suicide in your family. All of these things can be bound up by the blood of Christ and thrown out. Amen? There could be a spirit of hopelessness and despair in your family. 
where everyone is like, never has any hope or joy. A spirit of depression could be in the family. These two prayers will drive those spirits out of your family. God wants to prepare our families for the battle that's upon us now. It's going to get stronger, but we will be completely clean and protected. It's hard to fight when there's demons in your family, but when they're thrown out, you're light and you're free and you're clean, then it's easy to fight. Then it's easier for God to protect us. You're receiving a set of beads as well. It's not a rosary, that's a St. Michael chaplet. The chaplet of St. Michael the Archangel. Our Lord and Our Lady are saying to the approved prophets to call upon the angels every day now. So that's your chaplet of St. Michael the Archangel. And you should be receiving an instruction sheet for that as well. That also is approved by the Holy Catholic Church. There's another great weapon, and that is every Catholic, really every Protestant, should be wearing the brown scapular. Is there anybody here who does not have a brown scapular? Would you raise your holy hand if you don't have a brown scapular to wear? Would you raise it nice and high? We're going to give you a brown scapular. Every Catholic should have a brown scapular, the, the scapular of Mount Carmel of Our Lady. The brown scapular. Here we come down. So I'm going to do a prayer to enroll you in the brown scapular in just a moment. And that's good for the rest of your life. Even if your scapular is broken. That one too. See. Mm -hmm. And if this one gets old, you can replace it. You don't need to do the entrustment again. We do it just once. It's good for the rest of your life. That's a good question. They probably should go to your local pastor, but it only takes like two minutes to do. And I can show you the prayer. You could take a picture afterwards and show it to your pastor, okay? So if you don't have a brown scapular, and then we had a St. Benedict medal. Did you get a little tiny medal as well? We have the St. Benedict medal for you to protect you. That's the exorcism medal. So we want you to go home protected and ready for whatever's coming. If you want to take an extra one, take it for a teenager, any teenager in your family that you know. And I'm going to ask you for your brown scapular to take it out, unfold it, because I need to bless it. After I do the blessing, you're going to put it on and I bless you again. That's the official investiture it's called. If you already have a brown scapular, You've never been blessed, that you could take it off right now. You do it's an old one and hold it in your hand, the old one or a new one. I'm gonna bless the scapulars, then we're gonna put them on. I'm gonna bless you while you're wearing it as well. It's the official enrollment into the brown scapular. It will only take like two or three minutes. Then we're going to have a short adoration just because it's the Feast of Corpus Christi. And then we'll have our closing prayer. So if you have your brown scapular, whether it's brand new or your old one, would you hold it in your hand now in front of you? Okay. Everybody get the scapular? Anybody else need one? So now we're going to do the blessing of your scapular. Would you hold it in your beautiful hands in front of you, your brown scapular? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy, and then you answer, and grant us thy salvation. Lord, hear my prayer, and you say, and let my cry come unto you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. I'm going to do now the first blessing over you and your scapular. Lord Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, sanctify by thy power these scapulars, which for love of thee and for love of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, thy servants will wear devoutly, so that through the intercession of the same Virgin Mary, 
mother of God and protected against the evil spirit. They persevere until death in thy grace. Thou who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Now I do the first blessing with water, so stay where you are. And don't worry if you don't feel it. Don't worry about that. But I'm going to just sprinkle the water in your direction for you, and especially for your scapulars right now. We'll do a second blessing in just a moment. This is just to bless the material. Now, if you get a big bunch of water that falls on you, don't worry. It means you're a big fat hitter and you need an extra grace. Don't worry about that. Just a special gift from God. I must tell you, beloved, I, I observe this frequently. Something has changed over you right now. You actually look different. It's like a, a purity, a cleanliness, a purity all over the church and all over you. Something just changed in the church. It's incredible. I'm getting the anointing over my body now. These things are powerful. Amen? Not because of Father Jim. No way, Jose. It's because of Jesus and Mary. Amen? They are the authors of our salvation. Now I want to continue this blessing. It's quite powerful. Now that your scapular is blessed, the next step is you would take your new scapular or your old one and put it over your head and over your shoulders. You put it, that's right, over your head and over your shoulders. And I'm going to say this prayer as you're doing that. Receive this blessed scapular and beseech the Blessed Virgin that through her merits you may wear it without stain. May it defend you against all adversity and accompany you to eternal life. Amen. And now we have to bless you a second time. And this is not for the scapular, this is for you. Now you're enrolled as a son or daughter of Mary. I'm going to do a second blessing and then come back and do the final prayer for that. So let me give you one more blessing. By the time you leave here, you're all going to be saints. Now for the closing part of this scapular blessing and enrollment. I, by the power vested in me, admit you to participate in all the spiritual benefits obtained through the mercy of Jesus Christ by the religious order of Mount Carmel in the name of the Father and of the Son. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, bless you. He who has deigned to join you to the confraternity of the Blessed Virgin of Mount Carmel, we beseech her to crush the head of the ancient serpent. 
so that you may enter into possession of your eternal heritage through Christ our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The grace of thy flame of love over all the people. The Holy Spirit is just whispering to me that I'm free to share with you what just happened. I didn't say it out loud, but he said you should say it, he told me. When I went around the corner to the second blessing, I literally heard a demon screaming what you call bloody murder, howling as I went around the corner and went out the back door of the church. No, I didn't say that loud. I don't want to scare people, but he told me, say it. He told me, say it. And now I see why. What's the last word of that blessing? We beseech her to crush the head of the ancient serpent. Amen. So please keep your scapular on. You're allowed to take it off when you take a shower. That's okay. But then try to put it right back on after the shower. Amen. If you have anything else on your person, before I finish the blessing, like a rosary or your St. Benedict medal, let me just bless those with a simple blessing right now. Anything else on you? Your St. Michael, the Archangel, now everything's already been blessed. We're going to bless it officially. Your St. Michael chaplet, your St. Benedict medal, your rosaries, your Bibles, anything else, just hold it in your lap. It just All it needs is a simple blessing. My hand is actually radiating heat. My hand gets hot. It's actually radiating heat like a burner. That means God is blessing what you have. I ask you, Lord, to bless all the sacramentals, pictures, and Bibles that are here with your Holy Spirit. That they will be anointed when they use them for healing, for deliverance, and for salvation. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of your sacramentals in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. Now, beloved, I'm going to place the Lord on the altar with your permission. Can we worship God together at least for 10 minutes? For the Feast of Corpus Christi. And why don't we pray for Pittsburgh? Let's pray that Pittsburgh will not be lost. That, but through your adoration here, this city will have a special preservative grace upon it. Amen? So we'll ask our helper, Tammy, to set the altar up. I'm going to put the Lord on the altar. We'll pray for 10 minutes. And then I'll give have the closing blessing. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. Before we continue, beloved, the Spirit says to ask you to bring all of your family members now spiritually, all of your family members, including cousins, gather them in your heart and place them now on the altar before the Lord. He just spoke to me, he says, I want none of your family to go to hell. He wants none of them to be condemned, to lose their souls. None of them, none of them, none of them. Bring them all, I don't care if they're drug addicts or prostitutes or homosexuals or whatever they are. God still loves them, amen? Put all of them there on the altar, your relatives and mine. We're gonna ask Jesus to save every single one of them.
All my words fall short. I got nothing new. How could I express all my gratitude? I could sing these songs as I often do. Every song must end, and you never do. So I throw up my hands, praise you again and again. 'Cause all that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah. And I know it's not much. I've nothing else fit for a king, except for a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. I've got one response. I've got just one. See 
this Hail Mary for all of our family members to be saved through her intercession. They're all on the altar now. Mama, save all of them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Of thy flame of love. Over all the people. The second Hail Mary is for Pittsburgh, for everyone in Pittsburgh, even though they may not deserve it. We ask for the protection of this city and that all those who do live here and experience the miraculous protection of God will run to this church and be baptized. Amen. For all of Pittsburgh now to be saved. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And now a special protection over California. Mama, we don't know what to say, so we just entrust this state to you. Save as many souls as possible and protect California from all invasions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Beloved, would you say this prayer after me, line by line? My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. Mm -hmm. 
May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. The Lord says, remind you, and he says to ask you to say the prayer we just said every morning and every night minimum. It's called the unity prayer. You received a copy of it yesterday. It blinds and paralyzes the demon. Every morning and every night for your protection, please say that beginning tonight. Amen. Amen. Now we sing, beloved, the Tantum Ergo. Tantum Ergo Sacramentum Venere Mucernui Et Anticum Given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood. Help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, now and until the end of time. Amen. My God, I love you, and I give myself to you. The Lord be with you. May the beautiful God bless you and be your best friend. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This Holy Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. I love you. And 